So Scott has been dumped from Love Island USA. Scott and Johnny have both been dumped. Uh, people are roasting him for it and he's not having it and he's clapping back himself. This just looks very messy. Hey guys, it's Marad Marad. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Subscribe to the channel and let's get straight into this video, guys. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Click that button. So Scott has been dumped. Johnny has been dumped. You know, they both, you know, came sixth. And coincidentally, Scott came sixth, you know, on the UK version of being dumped on the show as well. So that's, you know, very interesting. It's giving fixed, in my opinion, a very odd sixth as well. But, you know, a lot of people are reacting to his um, dumping and they are just laughing at him. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It does not look good for, for Scott right now. Um, people are just cussing him out. The thing is... Um, But it's like, how are they going to work? Because it's like, you know, he lives all the way in the UK island and she lives somewhere in America. So, you know, uh, people are responding saying dumb twice is crazy. Um, I want to see Scott in Big Brother Nigeria next. <sighs> Australia next. You lot are taking a piss, man. Scott is so embarrassing. Tyreek was right. Love Island is just not for him. Um, <clears throat> he looks so fed up. He should have stayed home. Um, married at first sight. Australia next. He has responded and he has tweeted saying that, you know, um, some of you guys liked it. Some of you guys didn't. Oh, well, if you guys didn't like it, go and see a castle or something like that. Basically saying that, you know, if it wasn't for you, just get over it and go back to your full time job or, you know, whatever you're doing, go see a castle, go pick a day activity, like get over it. It's not that serious was his response via Twitter. And one thing about, one thing about, um, the comments, one thing about the quote tweets, they are never going to be on your side, no matter who you are in the world. Nobody is invincible to that. And, you know, the quote tweets and the comments in general are just not on Scott's side. And it looks like a lot of people have turned their backs on him when it comes to him going on to Love Island USA. I feel like Scott is a sacrificial lamb. That's basically what he is. I don't think it's that deep uh, in terms of, you know, him being this fake person, game player, scam Tisha, he's a scammer, etc, etc. But that is a price he unfortunately had to pay for accepting this role of returning to Love Island and so, so quick and so soon for Love Island USA. Love Island USA employed, let's just say, somebody from the Love Island UK current cast because they wanted to make the current Love Island USA cast relevant and a talking point. And that's exactly what it did because it worked. Scott was the perfect asset to go onto the show and to be used in this way. And now everybody was speaking about him and everybody's speaking about Love Island USA. Since Scott has been moved onto Love Island USA, everybody in the UK has been reporting on Love Island USA. Love Island USA has gained massive wide exposure by bringing Scott on. And so also it was this introductory concept to mixing Americans and the UK, you know, um, contestants together as well as an introduction to what's going to happen with games so I believe he's taken so that's what that's why he was given this ultimatum you know exclusive that you know I was told that he was given an ultimatum that's why the Love Island USA producers said you can't come onto Love Island games until we use you to come onto Love Island USA as well and he's like sure okay I'll sign up give me a check for it and then him entering to Love Island USA, the only reason he was told to go on that show was to bring exposure to Love Island USA. That's why Mora was brought into Love Island USA as some kind of social media ambassador, which we've never heard of as a role. It's a bit of a random role. She was brought into that in to kind of boost Love Island USA because they really want to make Love Island USA that girl. And look, it worked. Everything that they have done to try and gain exposure for the show, bringing Mora on, you know, bringing Scott on as well, um, other messy viral moments, it's worked for Love Island USA. Everybody's been talking about it. But Scott being employed on to was one of the most clever moves the producers have made because it gained widespread exposure. It gained exposure from the UK and that's what the Love Island USA producer girls want. They want exposure from the UK onto the Love Island USA format. So Scott was just used as this kind of, you know, asset the sacrificial lamb to go on the show whereas the majority of the public believe that he was really going on to love island usa because he's a game player he never liked xyz and you know he really is fake and you know etc etc it's just unfortunate that it just gives 
credence to all of that. And you know, that's why people are just gonna see him. And that's how they're gonna see him. So whilst it helped Love Island USA, it hasn't helped Scott. I don't think him going on to Love Island USA will help him at all on a longevity matter because to everybody it just looks like you are a game player, you ran onto Love Island USA and you just got dumped and now you look like even more of an idiot. Like you didn't even reach the finale on two shows in less than two months. It just doesn't look good. So while Scott probably doesn't care and you know, probably is annoyed by the backlash that he's getting, obviously he tweeted and etc. I would have suggested him not to tweet, but I'm sure that he just, he'll get over it and he'll be fine. Um, yeah, they kind of just used him. And you know, clearly everybody's dragging him, Scottisha, Scamtisha, they're calling him now, go on Big Brother Nigeria, you know, um, married at first sight. Ma they really said go on married at first sight Australia when he's not even married, or he's not even trying to get married. Like it's really wild what people are saying, but you know, clearly it gives credence to that because that's what it looks like. It looks like he's just gone on and jumped between shows when really and truly he was never meant to go on Love Island USA. That was never meant to be the plan, but they gave him an ultimatum to say, you cannot come onto the um, Love Island games without you going onto Love Island USA. They're not gonna do that for every single Islander. They only did that with him because they went to the drawing board and thought, you know what? Putting him onto Love Island USA will bring that exposure cross promotion and we'll do what we need. And it worked for Love Island USA. I have never seen a season of Love Island USA being spoken about so much since Scott went onto the show. Maybe this will be a reoccurring thing for the next future seasons because you know, it makes everybody laugh at the guy or the girl to be like, oh my God, you were just in the UK. Why are you going to the USA? Are you a beg? Like you're doing the most, but it worked. <clears throat> And you know, that's what um, the USA producers are doing. I just feel like they used him in that way and he accepted it. And so now everybody looks at him as just a gay player and they're not gonna get that out of their mind when it comes to him. I believe he is going on games. Um, you know, I exclusively did reveal this um, initially and I was confused when I was told about USA because it didn't make sense to me. But you know, it's, it's happening, it was an ultimatum. It is what it is, damage is done. And now we'll just see What's happened? All of game, all of games. I'm tired, child. Love Island Games is being aired in November, so that's good, you know, for Scott. And that, you know, there's a break from Love Island. He's not coming on next month. That would have just been ridiculous. Uh, but we'll just see what it does um, for him. We'll see what Love Island Games brings. You know, Maya Jama is hosting it, so it's great to kind of recognize somebody who's a main host from the UK over in America again. The USA are bringing people from the UK over because it's cross promotion, it's exposure, and etc. And that's what they want them to do. So we'll just have to see what she brings. But Scott, um, yeah, he is irritated by what people are saying about him. He's not feeling it. He doesn't like the response. He doesn't like people turning on him. And that's exactly what is going on. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Click that button for daily and consistent content. I would appreciate it. Subscribe, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.